Hey, what's going on guys? This is Rod from webhostwarriors.com and in today's video we're going to be reviewing WP Engine's web hosting services. And if you don't know what WP Engine does, they are a hosting company that's solely dedicated to the content management system, WordPress. So they are pretty much the masters of WordPress and they have been around since 2010. So they've been around for roughly seven years. Now with WP Engine, they are in a very, very competitive field in the web hosting industry, right? It's a cutthroat industry. There's companies that flop and pop up left, right, and center pretty much every year since, you know, the late 90s. And it's very, very hard to, you know, keep a very good service and have it uh, competitively priced. And with WordPress Engine, they are solely just dedicated on people that utilize WordPress uh, as their content management system for their own websites and that's that's roughly millions upon millions of websites out there in the marketplace so they have they pretty much categorize themselves solely on WordPress which can be a good and a bad thing but uh, of course in their end it's a very good thing right they're it, they're niche based they only cater towards uh, developers and uh, business owners that want to utilize uh, WordPress now with that being said Let's go over some of the hosting plans that they provide. So they have, I uh, believe, five different web hosting plans. So they have the starter plan, which is the personal plan. It's $29 per month. You get one uh, website installer, or one website to utilize under that plan. It's roughly suitable for 25,000 visitors. And in terms of memory, you get up to 10 gigabytes of local storage, and you also get access to free SSL certificates. And then if we look at the professional plan, they have up to 10 installs. It's suitable for 100,000 visitors, and that plan is $99 per month. And in terms of storage, is 20 gigs. And then the business plan is up to 25 website installs. Uh, it's $249 per month, and it's suitable for roughly 400,000 visits, and it's good for 30 gigs for local storage. And then they have the premium and enterprise grade. And I'm sure if you're just starting out, I mean, it's you probably don't need to get to that level of web hosting. So I'd, if you're just starting out, you know, if you just have one website, like a blog or, um, or an app or just a one pager, I'd recommend you starting out with a personal or professional plan if you're just starting out. But of course, if you wanted dedicated hosting, you know, WordPress is dedicated hosting. So it's not like HostGator or Bluehost or iPage or any of those other hosts where it's shared hosting. These are dedicated servers that you can utilize for your own websites, which is why you pay a premium price for it. Now, with that in mind, with those plans, let me see. I did find a website that's what, that's hosted through WP Engine, and it's by Jess.net. So I went ahead to GT Metrics and I tested out the uh, actual performance uh, of their hosting, and it's fairly quick. If you look at the page feed score, it's 92% based on the performance and then on the uh, full load time for the page speed test it was 2.5 seconds which is very very quick considering the actual industry standard is between seven to nine seconds so that's very very quick considering um, it's you know, again it's dedicated hosting it's not shared hosting like other platforms so with that in mind I just want to keep this review short because again it, it, they're a fairly simple company with their plans you know they only have five different plans unlike other companies that have dozens of confusing plans so with them they keep it short they keep it simple and um, yeah, they, they keep it cordial so with that in mind that's pretty much it hopefully you got a little bit more educated on the decision whether or not you want to utilize WordPress engine as your web hosting service for your own WordPress website and that's pretty much it guys hopefully you enjoyed this short and concise review and I'll see you guys on the next one